Hi friends, today we're going to go over Ballotpedia's coverage on the government and the different branches and the breakdown between federal, state, local, and municipal governments. So we go to the three lines and go to the government dropdown and we can see that it's broken down very similarly to how election coverage is broken down to um, the federal offices or in this case um, the federal branches, federal courts, state, local, school board, ele um, elections, um, and offices. I'm going to focus in this video on the federal court system since I had a lot of questions about that a few years ago myself. Um, the federal court system can be kind of complicated if you're not familiar with that kind of information. So Ballotpedia is actually what I went to to find out and, and better understand how the federal court system works. So these links, you can jump down to the particular court system that you want to look at. You can also go straight to subject matter jurisdictions like bankruptcy. There's several military related jurisdictional courts. And then you can also jump down to federal judges that not only breaks down federal judges in terms of if they're elected or um, I'm sorry, if they're appointed, who appointed them by the elected president and it'll break down the party. Um, it'll compare the two parties of judges that are appointed. So a lot of different interesting comparisons that you can look at when it comes to the federal judiciary. Um, and I'm just going to keep scrolling down because there's a lot of information that I'll wanna, I could go over and uh, I could probably talk hours about this, but for the sake of the video and f having about five minutes, we'll do this in five. So this is a map on the district circuit court system. And that's probably one of the most confusing parts about the U.S. court system is that you have a circuit and then you have a state and then within the state, a district. So this map helps you break it down. So you can go to different states and learn what circuit they're in. And then you can also learn the different districts that are there. So if we're in South Carolina, we are in the fourth circuit and it looks like they only have one district in north carolina they have the eastern district of the fourth circuit the middle district of north carolina in the fourth circuit and the northern district of the fourth circuit in north carolina so you can have a lot of different circuit a uh, lot of different districts within a state and then several states within a circuit. So this map is really helpful in breaking all of that down. Then it goes into different biographies, I guess you could say, on the courts. And what's also really neat is that it'll tie the different court branches to the Constitution and link it to the constitutional entries so you can see where and why that court is set up. Um, that's helpful for the constitutional arguments of why something is there in terms of its constitutionality. So as Ballotpedia does really well, they have a lot of visualizations on breakdowns of cases. In this case, it's how many cases go to each circuit that the Supreme Court will hear. And you can go to the, in, they'll have links in the descriptions of the different circuits it's discussing. So it never just says, um, if it's, it'll never just discuss the Ninth Circuit. It'll link it so you could easily get there to learn more about that if it's relevant to your research. Um, this is the circuit courts, and within each circuit, and with um, has a court of appeals, and then which he, within each subject uh, jurisdiction, they have an appeal appellate court too. So there aren't as many appellate courts as there are district courts for states. Um, there's only one appellate court for the entire little conglomerate of states. And then you can learn more about district courts. Um, they, You can go to a whole entry about them, learn more about the special jurisdictions. And then what's also really neat is how they discuss judges. Uh, again, they, they talk about and link federal judges to Article 3 of the Constitution, 
um, they give you the kind of the, I guess the job description and how you get that job, how many of them are there. So in this case, it's um, updated just a few weeks ago at time of this filming. Um, the number of federal judges, how many, if they're appointed, uh, the term of their service. And then you can learn more about, you know, you, it'll take you back up to entry. So it can always circle around really, really easily. Um, and here's what I was mentioning earlier about how it links it to the Constitution and why these are constitutional and how they apply to the Constitution. Then I mentioned earlier, it does it, in other videos we've seen, Ballotpedia does a really good job of taking really boring statistics and turning them into really easy to read comparison charts so you can get an idea of what you know that you're what data you're looking at sometimes it's kind of abstract to think of out of 12 um out of 17 judges four have been democrat in the fifth district well this puts it in a little bit better easier to read context especially for the visual learners out there um this is a neat chart on how many judges were appointed in each circuit by party And then you can see the district federal judges and, you know, who are democratically appointed, Republican appointed, vacant. And, um, you know, that's just kind of a neat breakdown uh, in comparison for those who, uh, you know, are kind of data nerds like I am. Um, and it also, uh, one thing I was really unsure of when I was learning about the federal courts and needed a really in-depth learning of how they work is um, this Ballotpedia provides, provides a really good, easy to read, easily digestible, but yet it's still brief on how the process works um, and how this, how each nominee is nominated by the president goes to a few steps within the Senate Judiciary Committee and then there's a whole bunch of steps that we never see really in the public but that you know happens a lot of times we don't even see the confirmation hearing because there's so many it's kind of a common thing to have a, a federal judge being confirmed in the Senate um, really the big ones we'll see are the Supreme Court justices and then one thing again Ballotpedia does really well is linking other related topics back to um, the federal legislative and executive branches and we'll go over those in another video um, and of course here are the footnotes for the receipts so you can go back to mostly um, primary resources on how they get this information most of it is obtained from uh, federal court websites. And that's one thing that's really, really helpful that Ballotpedia provides us is that to get all of this information, we would have had to go to most of these websites. Ballotpedia puts it all in a really great, easy to read context. Um, and it really can, you can look at it a bunch of different ways in just the biographical sense, the data sense, and then it'll, and if we want to look at exactly one piece of data, we can just click on the link and it'll bring us to where they found the information. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.